learning too much. We're not doing car stuff because it's still, still too hot. And it's October. So now we're testing RAM. I have a bad RAM stick in this, uh, I was going to say vehicle, computer. I'm testing it with the higher irons, uh, whatever the irons tools it does a lot of cool stuff. But the first one seems to be good so far. That's a 512. They had originally five two 512s in here, and then I bought two one gig sticks from uh, eBay. Those are probably bad. I would, I would imagine one of these is shot. That was a. Uh, that was the 512. Yeah, so it went 512, 1 gig, 512, 1 gig in there. And the first one seems to be good. So we're going to take that one out and put a 1 gig in there and so forth. I guess I'll mark it good with a uh, marker. And try to find something else. Look at that. We got the ghetto computer. We got the ghetto laptop. I got a new hard drive coming for this tomorrow. Not a uh, solid state drive. I have a um, just a regular Western Digital one terabyte. So I'm probably gonna put a newer operating system on that and try to get this piece of shit Pentium 4 working for a while. I don't know why I'm even bothering. Um, I don't know. We're gonna keep that Western Digital drive, which I replaced um, XP on it, so I can switch back for this is 250. This is a problem. Um, we did a check or crystal disk information. Oh, this is the original Maxter hard drive. Maxter gun had two bad sectors. Well, they're slow. They're in the the yellow. So I'm not using that hard drive anymore. It was pretty damn corrupt. To get my information off, I had to take all. This was like a extra slave drive just in there if I stored shit on it. So I took this one out, put it in a box, put all this information on external, wiped it, formatted it. Then I put this one in as the main drive, reloaded XP on it with my recovery disks. Then I put this drive in as a slave, and like I did a check disk and I kind of fixed it a little bit, and I was able to get my information off of it. And then I just wiped it after I recovered it. Pain in the ass. Yeah, it seems to be working well though. <sighs> just one thing at a time. We'll get it right. It's a fun project to get an old piece of shit computer up and running again. Yeah, so far this thing, new power supply, new video card, well a couple of video cards, it burns them up. Um, we replaced three capacitors on it that were bad. Now the hard drive has been replaced. Yeah, 2005 computer. I don't know how long it's going to go. But, we'll see. Now we need RAM. Anyone got any of this stuff? That's the number right there. PC is getting blurry. This camera PC3, PC 3200U, and then I think that's the other number you need. 303, I don't know, whatever. What's the 512? It's the 512. Yeah, 303 has to match that. Alright, let's put this thing down. Let's see what we got. Found it. Didn't make a video. Yes, yeah, so that's the bad one. Yeah, you test it. Mem test 86, take one out at a time. Put it in the same slot and move it around, whatever you want to do. And you can check it. So I got one. I need one of these. Anyone have one? PC 3200 U-30331B2, one gig. Maybe two of them. Maybe give me four, I don't know. These are the ones I bought on eBay maybe three years ago. They were working then. Alright, let's go put this thing back together. One gig of RAM now. Whoa. Hopefully it's a little more light in here. But that's our new hard drive, one terabyte, Western Digital. We didn't get the SSI. Um, the RAM is acting up on this again because it's only running on one channel. 200 uh, hertz, I think. I think it's a measurement. Yeah, I don't think it's gigahertz, it's hertz. So we gotta get uh, some sticks of RAM. Anyone have PC 3200U? It's ECC RAM too. It's not non ECC. CL3 ECC. This camera is glaring like crazy. I'll put the information in the description if anyone's a RAM hoarder. 
Yeah, one gig sticks, I'll like four of them. So I can put four gigs of RAM in this piece of crap. And if that doesn't resolve the issue, this thing is it's done. I've had it. Playing around with it for a week already. But at least we got Movie Maker to work. We can make this movie now because we needed codex. Now we have it, so we're back online.